Oh, hello there. <laughs> okay. This is a guide to install MSI Combustor, as one of you did not get it in the previous video. Sorry, I didn't explain it a lot. I'll flash it up on the screen, and here it is. Okay, first thing you want to do, yep, open Google Chrome. That's on my second monitor. Here it is. And then you want to just type MSI Combustor. Now, they don't, they technically don't make this from actual MSI. You have to download it from Geeks 3D. But make sure it's not from any other actual um, site because you might get virus tag. But just make sure you always have an anti cheat on. I recommend it. So this will actually be in the description and I'll update it for the previous video. So it's geeks, geeks3d.com slash firmark slash combustor. So you click on this in Google or whatever browser you have. Go to download right here. And then you click latest version. When you go here, don't click any different ads or whatever. Click download. Okay, it's finished downloading. Click on this. I already have it, but I'm still going to do this. Click on yes. That's because Combust isn't like verified. It doesn't mean it's like a hack or whatever. I accept the agreement. You click next. Um, yeah, I already have it. Next, next, install. And then it's installed. And then now you can use it. If you have any more questions, please put it down in the comment section. But if I launch Combustor, you don't really want to launch Combustor. You want to open it in actual thing. Here it is. So it's technically a separated program. But if you go to MSI Afterburner or restart it, if you didn't have it before. So MSI, oh, it's right here. MSI Afterburner. Mine is a bit different because I like my layout like this. But you still have the free icon combustor right here you click on the k in my other video it'll be somewhere at the top right here then here we go you can run a stress test and that's how you do it see you in the next video and peace